outside I've just been chilling inside working on this OBR engine and I noticed when I was getting ready to polish it up and put it back together that the clutch was on backwards it was on like this instead of like this also I found these clutch bolts in there these are Zenoa clutch bolts and how they fit in there is like a hot dog down a hallway See, moving all around, sloppy jalopy, no good, no good, son. We need tighten right. So how do we fix it? We fix it with these right here. Ding, 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 Chung Yang. And you got to use Chung Yang bolts with a Chung Yang clutch, all right? There you go, tighten right, okay? And also when you put these in there, you want to check them. Make sure that they spin free with no drag. Those feel pretty good. If you do have drag, I got a video on how to clearance these in my little drill lathe. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to plop that on there and get her tight and right and get this engine done, son. Now we're going to go ahead and get his kill switch wire on so we can get the all the covers back on. You see right there is positive. This side is negative. See the minus there? So I like to go ahead and just put this one on like that. You don't need to take your coil off. You can just finagle this in here like this. Get it started up on there just like that. Then you can take a flathead screwdriver pry down on there all right once you're aligned push this straight back make sure it's straight up and down and you can look down on there and make sure see that you got your stake on lead see how it started on the stud there so many people take their coil off and that's completely not necessary just take your flathead screwdriver now, go on top like this, and press down. See? Fully seated, son. All right? Just like this one. Now we're going to go ahead and replace Angel's hinge pins with some Kraken hinge pins. Now, if you guys, this had the Eclipse. So if you guys have Eclipse and these are stuck in your billet and they're just really stubborn to come out, I recommend a little pair of end nips like this. Get in here in the little E-clip race and just grab it and twist that sucker out of there like this. Okay, just like that. Now, for the new hinge pins, we're gonna go ahead and insert a polymide washer six mil on the outside we're going to slide this on through here like so beautiful and see the thickness of this washer here allows this right there the screw hole see to be nice and flush with the uh, A arm there. And that's what I call a tight and right fitment. Now, if we're getting up in this area right here, I cut me a little Allen key down so I can get up in there for the tightness and the rightness. And you can just get on over here. Hold it here and tighten her on up, son. And you don't have to crank these super tight. Just turn them to the stop with some Loctite. Just like this, boom, that's it, done. All right, y'all, 
First thing we're gonna do before we get this in here is we need to get this servo centered. So before we get the servo centered, we need to link this receiver to this radio. And we are going to do that right now. And how we're gonna do that is, first you gotta select a model in here, which I've already done. Number model five is nothing. So we need to link the receiver. So first we need to set the receiver up with the type of, uh, let's see, TFH. Okay, I think that's the one we need right there because this is a T-FHSS controller, I mean receiver. So that's the one we're gonna select right there because we wanna use telemetry. So we need to power off. All right. Now we need to link this receiver. Right there is the link in the system. So we're gonna go ahead and power up the radio system here. Right. Oh, Angel's buzzer buzzer sounds a little hurt. All right, so we need to link this. So how we're gonna link that is let's see. I can't remember how you link it. There we go. Push this little button right here. Okay, there it is. There's a little button on the receiver. You just hold it during the link. And then it's linked. So now let's go back to the main menu here. Make sure our trim is zeroed. And we're all on zero, okay? Endpoints. All right, we're at a hundred. Okay. Trigger. Wow. That's a noisy Savic servo, but it's fast. All right, well, we're all linked up. So now we can go ahead and while everything's powered up, we're going to go ahead and put this on and tighten it down. And I'm not going to bore you guys with that process, but there's how you link up the Fataba T3PV. There's our telemetry, as you can see. The kill switch for this radio, um, you just plug it into channel 3 and it automatically works with this switch right here. Through there, and get your light blinking. All right, let's fit the radio box. y'all you see this nut right there I decided to put a nut a high nut on the bottom of this st symmetrical steering arm here and it's a nice lock nut that way Angel won't have to worry about any Loctite for this right here and you can get to it simply by using an 8 millimeter wrench and just sliding right here like this and then tightening it on the top like so And I'm telling you right now, that is a solid steering setup. Super tight and right. Now we're going to install Angel's buttery smooth transmission I built with a nice thick diff fluid that's also absolutely buttery smooth lace.
Yes, sir. Fits like a glove. All right, y'all. Got the back of the car buttoned up. Got his lines nice and tight here. Just put some zip ties right there. So now we can go ahead and set the heart. And also replaced the bent brake rotor. And it's nice and smooth now. So let's get the engine in there. One thing I noticed, this ALX bottom plate, this must be an older design because it doesn't have any cutout for the engine, you know. Lowering the heart. Oh, beautimus. See right there? We have gappage. I'm just gonna shim that. Now for Angel's two speed, I've already put the cam on the shaft here. There's a flat spot on the two speed. You just put some Loctite down there and tighten it right up. So we're gonna go ahead and slide his gear set on here now. You can see this piece mates up with the cam. That'll go on there just like that. And then if you just let, if you let it go, see it won't balance. So you gotta just hold it center. And there it is. So I'm gonna get the washer on here and nut and get that secured. Check this out, y'all. This piece was up here, right here like this, of course. But there was a gap here. Angel was missing a spacer. Check that out. I got an original HPI one from my very first car. Bam, son. All right, then, y'all. Let's go conclude this video. When we come back, we're going to do the four-wheel disc brakes. We're going to get those bled and get them working. As you can see, I got this one taken apart here because I had to configure the hinge pins here that I used. You can't use them on this side because it causes the caliper to get kitty wampus and you can't fully seat it down on both sides. So just some finagling that I'm having to do here and just some checking. However, everything is beyond buttery smooth. Look at that. So transmission turns great. Gears, mesh, buttery. So, Angel should be very happy with that. I don't want to get near those things. I done got my fingers up in them already. <laughs> so, yep, getting Mr. Angel's car all nice and tight and right. And he's going to be super happy. So, stay tuned, guys. Remember, tune them right and wind them tight. Y'all have a blessed one. I'll catch you on the next one. Eastside RC is out.